Hello there! In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best possible ways to apply drop shadow to your text in DaVinci Resolve. Now, this applies to both text and text plus. So, let's get started with normal text. Now, here, as you can see, I have this text bliss over this beautiful clip, which if I play, looks like this. Now, if we want to add drop shadow to normal text, the first way that we have is just click on the text, go to inspector, scroll below, and there we have it, drop shadow. It is enabled, but why can't we see it? It is because of the offset the offset is set to zero on both of the values so just drag it to the right drag it to the left and we have a drop shadow it's as simple as that now we can set the blur we can keep it sharp or we can keep it soft you can keep it any way you want and the opacity and you can also change the color of the blur if i want red i can go with red you can go with any value okay for now we'll keep it black so that's how you can apply the basic drop shadow the default drop shadow to normal text Second possible way is, I'll just scroll down, disable this drop shadow, right click on text, go to new compound clip, you can name it anything you want and hit create. Then you have to go to open effects, scroll below as much as you can and you'll reach resolve effects stylize. Here the third option is drop shadow, just click it and drop it on your compound clip and we have the drop shadow. Then all you have to do is go to inspector, go to effects. And there we have it, the customization for drop shadow. Now here, instead of the offset of X and Y, we have the drop angle. You can keep any angle that you want and the distance. Also, we have blur and opacity, which we already had. Shadow strength is basically opacity and you can change the color. So that's how you can apply drop shadow to normal text. Now, let's see how you can apply it to text plus. For now, I'll just delete this. We'll bring in text plus. Then we'll change the text that we had already. Bliss, change the font and change it to italic. And there we have it. We have the text again. Now, in case of text plus, obviously you can right click, you can change it to compound clip. And again, we can bring in the drop shadow. I have it in my favorites. So we have the drop shadow again, go to effects and we have it. But what most people don't know is DaVinci Resolve provides a whole lot of customization when it comes to text plus drop shadow. How to do it? Just delete this. We'll control Z all of this stuff. Okay, now we have text plus. Just click on text plus, go to inspector, go to title and then go to shading. Okay, once you are in shading, then you can go to shading elements, select element here, just click on number three, which is by default a black shadow. Now we can't really see a black shadow, which is because we have to click on this box, which is enabled. Click on it. And there you go. We have a drop shadow and all of this customization. Let me show you what it does. First of all, obviously opacity. Then we have blending or composite mode. Then we have the appearance of the drop shadow here. Obviously, text fill has been selected, but you can also select text outline, which basically means that the drop shadow will basically just be an outline of your text. Okay. And it applies to whatever font you have selected. For now, we'll go with normal appearance. Then you can change the color. Obviously, like before, I'll go to red and we can set red, but not now. Then you can adjust the reds, greens, blues. We are not really concerned for now. Then you can change the softness of the shadow. Just drag it to the right and you'll see the effects. Okay, right or left. Then you can also go with Y. Okay, vertical softness. Now, in all of these properties, if you want to reset the values, let's say if you change the values by mistake and you want to reset it, there's not really a reset button on the right. This is the keyframe button. So this is the reset button. Just click on this little dot below the values and it will reset the values for you. Okay. Next, we have glow. Okay, you can just toggle and you'll understand what kind of function this thing does. Then you can change the blending. Then you can go with position. You can bring the shadow to the front or take it to the back, whatever you want. Okay, then you can change the offset. Okay, which is basically the position offset Z. Then pivot, then you can go to rotation. You can rotate the shadows. Let wait a second. Let me bring this back to its original values. Now, here you can change the rotation. See, like this. Wait, let me show it to you. Yeah, like this. Then you can change it like this. See, you can get a lot more creative than you usually are in this section. Okay. And finally, we have shear. You can change the shear. Wait, let me show you how it works. Let's change it to default. And yeah, this is how shear works. You can just drag it here. 
and it will slant a little bit if you change the x values and if you change y this is what happens i can't really explain what's happening here <laughs> okay then uh, finally obviously we have size now this size works something like this now i don't know where i can use this but you can definitely use it somewhere because they have given the option yeah so that's how you can apply drop shadow to text plus in the winch resolve those are all kinds of customization which gives a whole lot of creative freedom to the creator and yeah that's it for the video guys i hope you find this video useful and if you do make sure you like the video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people share this video with your friends and finally consider subscribing to the channel i post such kind of how to tech videos tech reviews i stream games on the channel every week and I post some informative and knowledgeable YouTube shots. So that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.